you guys. A new year means new original content. So, subscribe. Dudes, welcome back finally to another episode of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> My name is DV Geek, and today you guys are going to be witnessing my reaction to the epic introduction to my all-time favorite character of the Seven Deadly Sins, the Sin of Pride himself, Escanor. Before we do anything else, I want you guys to do this in the comment section. I know you guys can feel the aura from the sun. So praise the sun. Hashtag praise the sun in the comment section right now, dudes. I want to see that right now in the comment section. If you're hyped to see my reaction to probably one of my favorite moments in the seven deadly sins up till date. So I'm super excited to get my reaction out there for you guys. I know you're all very excited indeed. Escanor, this character that came out of freaking nowhere. I was wondering when we we're going to see the sin of pride. And when we did, I was... Not impressed. <laughs> Not at all. Not when I seen him anyway. This skinny dorky dude that's been hiding for years. Just didn't seem like he was going to fit the team of the seven deadly sins. Until the moment the sun started heating up and getting bigger and bigger. And that is when the power of Escanor was revealed against a former mighty Galand that had felt the wrath of the sun and the pride that is. Escanor. This was an incredible freaking few episodes, dudes, and honestly, I cannot wait for you guys to see my reactions to them. Now, before I do, I just want to point this out that we have concluded The Seven Deadly Sins Season 1 and 2 over on Patreon. We've concluded it for over a week now, and I have to say, The Seven Deadly Sins is my all-time favorite anime series on Netflix. It's absolutely fantastic. It's definitely one of my favorite shows in anime in general. I just think it's so good. It's so exciting. It's so action-packed. I love the lore. I love the characters. I love the story. Everything about this show has just been so exciting to watch. Like, it's just one of those anime where you just sit down and you know you're just going to enjoy something. You know you're going to just be so hyped and so excited watching it. No matter what episodes are thrown at you, usually they're all extremely well done and just exciting. Absolutely high-octane, adrenal rush, adrenaline-pumping action. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And tomorrow... Yes, dudes, as you know, there is a new Seven Deadly Sins movie that has released on Netflix. And we're going to be checking it out over on Patreon as part of the movie reaction tier. Yes, dudes, The Prisoners of the Sky has released on Netflix. And I've been extremely excited to watch it because after finishing Season 2, I wanted my Seven Deadly Sins fix. But I couldn't get it because there's no Season 3. But then, lo and behold... The new movie has now released on Netflix. Now, I am not aware whether or not this is canon or not, whether it actually fits in with the continuity of The Seven Deadly Sins, or is it its own story altogether? All I know is that The Seven Deadly Sins are actually in it, and I'm really excited to watch some more of these characters in, well, a full-length movie. It's going to be freaking hype, and I can't wait. So definitely go check over to Patreon to get access to that tier, and then check out the movie reaction tomorrow. Cannot wait to get it out there for you guys. Anyway, I know you came here for my reaction. That is exactly what you're going to be getting, dude. Three episodes back to back, introducing the character of Escanor and the epicness that is his power. All in the description box below are all the links to the reaction, full length and uncut for you guys to enjoy. And of course, there is Facebook links below, so make sure you follow me on Facebook, show some love over there so you can comment on it, etc. And then get your asses back here for my review of the entire three episodes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, my review is about to start. Be sure to leave a like on this video to show your support and subscribe for more Seven Deadly Sins content in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and here is my review. <laughs> oh, okay, we gotta talk about this right now, dudes. We gotta talk about this. All right, all right, okay, 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 okay. So, first, first off, first off, right? 
before I say anything. Praise the sun! Praise the mother frippin' flippin' sun! Whoa! Alright, Escanor is just freaking whoa! Alright, let's just gotta get that out there. Whew, I need to get it off my chest. Holy shit. Holy fucking balls. That was amazing, bro. Wow. All right. So, woo! so much happening in so little time. Dude, the Ten Commandments, they have set themselves and dispersed themselves around the continent. Okay. And they're up to mischief. <laughs> but two of them have been single-handedly defeated by one of the sins with a power level exceeding my expectations. But we'll get to that. We're also introduced to new characters as well that seem to be on prey with Dreyfus. Well, they've captured Dreyfus and they seem to be able to stand their own as well. I want to know more about them, but they only gave us a hint of them. That's all they gave us. Miliodas is on the search to Escanor. Well, Miliodas and the rest were on their search for Escanor. And they found him, obviously, with this amount of power being thrown around, they're going to sense that. And I like to just point out that Meliodas does seem to have a sixth sense when it comes to his comrades or massive power levels, which I think a lot of them do kind of, but Meliodas seems to have that much stronger. Like he has that connection, especially with Ban, whenever Ban is in trouble, he can sense that, you know? So I think that's interesting. I wonder what gives him that ability. But that aside, the simple fact that they now know where Escanor is, which means they're going to make their way over to him, but they're going to get more than Escanor. They're going to get Jericho, they're going to get Elaine, and they're going to get Ban as well. So we're getting a total package here. So the Seven Deadly Sins are going to be fully reunited. Okay, we have the Seven Deadly Sins finally upon us. Praise the sun. Now I know. Now I know why you guys keep saying that shit to me. Praise the motherfucking sun. Eskinor is here, and he's more amazing than I could ever imagine. But there's a downside. Eskinor's power is only truly great when he is being bestowed upon the greatness that is the sun. And I think the stronger the heat, the stronger the rays of the sun, the more incredible Eskinor's powers are. Which can be an advantage or a disadvantage, whatever way you want to look at it. If it comes to taking on the Ten Commandments, they gotta do this shit. On the biggest, brightest, most glorious sunny day. Because if they do, then they'll win. <laughs> because Escanor is there. But if the weather is shit, then Escanor is weak and can be killed instantly. He was knocked out unconscious for hours upon hours by Galland because he was in his weak state. But then as soon as the sun came out, kaboom, there he was, my steroid filled beast. Like, that was amazing. Really, really great stuff. And the Scanner's character, love him. Absolutely love him. Um, it's like the perfected version of Jekyll and Hyde, I want to say. There's no real split personality there, but there's a huge difference in power. And that is awesome. And appearance as well. And it was just incredible seeing this. Now, also, okay, I know I'm just jumbling up everything here. I'm not really talking about specifics of the episodes i'm just talking about certain scenes or certain characters that stood out to me the most now i did say this originally during my reaction and i did pause it that jericho has now officially become the best girl dna was and i still love her you know dna is still adorable she's cute she's lovable but for a woman for me personally jericho is my girl okay she shows loyalty she shows strength she shows compassion she shows love, she shows care, and she's got power. She's got everything that I love in a woman. And that is why Jericho is now officially best girl. So when it comes to getting any Seven Deadly Sins figurines, posters, etc., you know I gotta get my girl Jericho. So if you guys can hook me up with links to some stuff, I'm definitely gonna be making some purchases. That's all I'm saying. Now, that being said, Elaine being brought back to life is not something I was expecting. Okay, out of everything that's happened in these few episodes, I was not expecting that. I do think that the whole taking souls and corrupted souls and all that stuff, that was kind of thrown in there. It was a little out of the ordinary. It was a little rushed, in my opinion. But 
it did bring back Elaine. And I think that's the whole purpose of that. They just wanted some sort of reasoning before, behind Elaine being brought back to life. Which, you know, gave a lot of an emotional factor to this episode that we watched. We, you know, with Ban and his relationship with Elaine. And then we got to see Jericho break out in tears and express her love. Which is just heartbreaking because Ban is just, just in love with a dead girl. She's a dead girl, man. You got this perfection here beside you that's willing to stay with you forever and you're in love with a dead girl. She's a dead girl. A flat-chested dead girl, okay? You got Jericho, for Christ's sake. And I think that was kind of interesting that Elaine was brought back. You know, those emotional factors were exploited from the characters, which meant this more, you know, dramatic to watch. And I like that. I think it's cool. And now that the king has returned, he can now... You know, speak with Elaine and, you know, have their little emotional moment or whatever before she, you know, heads back to the land of the dead. Um, I don't know if this maybe is just a sneak, sneak peek of what's to come if Elaine is brought back to life, which I don't know how Ban's going to do that. And honestly, I don't want him to do that because I think he should be with Jericho because she's best girl. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty interested. That's all I'm saying. But that is all I got to say about these episodes. Like I said, I know I just jumbled all about the stuff that's happened in the episodes. I just wanted to talk about the things that really stood out to me the most. Um, Escanor being one. I think he's the brightest, shining, most amazing thing to happen in these few episodes. Which I was expecting because you guys just kept hyping it up. And even if you guys overhyped the stuff... This lived up to that hype and more, okay? Sometimes I get overhyped by people's comments and just getting me excited about a certain episode and then it happens and I'm like, yeah, it was okay, but it wasn't as hyped as you guys were making it out to be. This was beyond the hype, all right? You know, there, there's hype and then there's hype and then there's fucking beyond the hype and that's where this was, okay? It was. Now I, I get it. I need to take myself down a notch. I'm being too loud. Um, yeah, so Escanor. <laughs> praise the sun. <laughs> oh, praise the glorious sun. Well, I'm never going to look at the sun ever again the same way. I, I mean, I'm going to go out on a sunny day and be like, that dude is kicking somebody's ass out there right now. Praise the sun. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say about these episodes. Dudes. I hope you guys enjoy this triple reaction special. Like I said earlier on um, my posts on Patreon and somewhere on YouTube, I am going to be going away for a week, guys. Um, I'm not going to be able to publish that much stuff here on Patreon. I do want to get some more stuff th done before I go, but I do leave Sunday early. Um... So tomorrow I do have a little bit of time to get something done, but I don't know how much I'm actually going to get done. So expect very little happening this following week. But then going forward, there's only a few weeks left and then I'm finished with work altogether. And this is this is it. This is the real deal. I'm going to be changing everything. Background, everything is going to change. Everything is going to be ready. I'm going to be fresh, going to be rocking. I'm going to be rolling with some new equipment and hardware. We're going to be plowing out some great videos and content right here on Patreon and, of course, on YouTube. I'm making some huge changes, and one of those changes, I'm just going to say it out here right now, is another YouTube channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. DVG, what? Another YouTube channel? Yes, another YouTube channel dedicated to anime reactions. That's it, because I love what I do on YouTube, but I don't have the time to make the creative, creative videos that I want to make and throw it all in there with anime reactions. So I decided to separate it. Put it on a separate channel where everybody can enjoy the anime reactions on a separate channel. And then on my main channel, there's going to be creative videos to do with anime. I'll still be covering anime stuff. I'll probably do the seasonal anime on the main channel. And I'll be doing a lot of covering anime news, geeky news, whatever. Unboxings, all of the good stuff, the gaming, everything will be happening on the main channel. So, DV Geek, the personality, what you low and love will be still remaining on the main channel. And then... Onto the other channel is where we go to the in-depth anime reactions and all that good stuff. You know, it'll be all happening weekly, scheduled, and everything. So, that's the way it's going to be. When I leave my job that I have right now, this is going to be my job. And I will treat it as such. But it's never going to feel like I'm working because I love what I do. You know? So, that's like living the dream. But that's all thanks to you guys. So, thank you so much for the love, the support. And everything else in between. You guys are amazing. But that's all I have time for here today for the 7 Deadly Sins video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smack a like if you enjoyed. Let's go for a like goal here on Patreon of 30 likes. If you can smash that, I'd love you. Praise the sun and all that good stuff. But anyway, like I said, that ends it here. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome. 
and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next 7 Deadly Sins video. Praise the sun dudes!